Hi, this is Kimbra, and you're watching Billboard. I was aware of Nina Simone as a kid growing up because I was in this jazz choir at school and we used to do these kind of medleys of different jazz songs and I remember a few of Nina Simone's songs were in there. But Plain Gold Ring I'd never heard before and it was the producer Francois Titez who introduced me to the song. It moved me so much, it was so haunting and I just, yeah, felt like it really deserved a place on the album. It's a song that means a lot to me and it's kind of grown with me and come to me more and more as I've you know, um, developed. Plain gold ring on his finger he wore. Oh, 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 oh. It was where everyone could see.
Nina Simone was a really kind of fearless performer. She just put everything out there. And the song, what struck me about it was actually its simplicity. All it is is this just dun 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 dun, like bass line, piano part, and her voice over the top of it. Nothing really moves all, all that much. There's no, you know, real addition to the arrangement. And the melody itself is just so kind of, um, almost like a lullaby. And because a lot of my melodies are usually, they dart all over the place, I think I was really drawn in by just the simplicity of this song. And yeah, lyrically it's, it's um, quite cold, you know, but also kind of heartbreaking, but it's done in a really subtle way. That's always my favorite kind of ballad, you know, is, is when you kind of needed to dig um, a little bit to, to, to recognize the real emotion sitting under the whole song.